Good morning, Cardinals. It's Monday, April 27th, 2020. It is an A day, so periods one, two, three, and four. We've got a few reminders I want to get out as part of our announcements, and then one quick question, and then we do have a surprise or a special guest that I'll tell you more about. A couple of things just as reminders. If you are looking to be a part or a member of uh, Redbird Productions, which is our theater company, um, auditions are going on right now. You can visit our webpage, belair.org, and get more information. Uh, you'll do it virtually, of course, but they can give you all the very specific ways um, that you go ahead and comprise your audition and submit it uh, to be a part of Redbird Productions and their season for next year, which sounds very exciting. Um, also, the Bel Air Film Festival will be this Thursday. It'll be online virtually, of course, and then you have the opportunity still to submit. I think they may still be taking submissions, but check that out at belair.org, and you can learn more um, about that. There's also, I've had a couple of questions. Hey, my computer or laptop is not working. Is there anything I can do? There is a form that's on uh, the Bel Air website called the Technical Support Form. Go ahead and fill that out. Mr. Scarrow and Mr. Paniagua, our tech guys of, up on the second floor, are working every day during break. And so if there's a way that they can fix it remotely, then they'll do that for you. Otherwise, they'll work with you about getting it traded in or getting it fixed because we know how important that is. So that tech support form is there and those guys manage it every day, all day. Um, a question that's come in also has been around, hey, Sometimes it's light in the background when you're filming and sometimes it's dark. What time are you filming at? What time do you get up? So I do the morning announcements. Um, let me back up and just say that I'm kind of an early bird very often. Uh, during a regular school day when we're actually on site, I'm usually up around 4.47. Um, pretty prime right there. Um, hashtag prime. Um, and then, uh, but I'm sleeping a little bit later since I don't have to commute and all of that. So sometimes I'll do the announcements uh, very early in the morning when the sun is still down. And then... Honestly, occasionally I do them the night before if I feel like I can. So, um, but uh, that kind of answers that question. Last thing is in the link below. You still have an opportunity to ask questions. Um, and then also the teacher appreciation um, link is in there. Send a shout out to one of your teachers, to all of your teachers. Tell them how much you appreciate what they're doing. Not this week, um, but next week, May 4th through the 8th, is the official National Teacher Appreciation Week. No reason to stop. You can get those in now. Um, and get a jump on that. Showing that gratitude is important, as we've shared uh, before. Um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. We have our first student guests um, to do the weathercast today. I told you guys that we'd start to get those videos and put them on, so please welcome our two new broadcasters uh, to the team. Um, let me go ahead and turn it over for our weather update. Good morning, Cardinals. I'd like to thank Mr. McDonough for having us. Uh, we'll start off with our Monday forecast. We have a high of 84 and a low of 69. It's going to be partly cloudy with incoming swarms of locusts, so say goodbye to your crops. On Tuesday, we're going to have a high of 87 and a low of 73. There's going to be chances of thunderstorms and frogs, so watch out. I'll kick it off to my co-anchor, Mr. Evan Bird. Ah, thank you, Norm. On Wednesday, there's a high of 86 and a low of 61. Wear your sunglasses because the sky is going to unfold like a scroll. Thursday, a high of 88 and a low of 61. Be sure to use your telescopes at night for the unique astronomical event where the moon turns blood red and the stars start to blink out of existence. On Friday, we've got a high of 88 and a low of 64. Stay inside because there's expected storms of blood as the Demon King Pyman comes out and attacks your firstborn son. Hey Nor, do you want to hang out if you're not eaten by the Demon King Pyman? That's fine by me as long as we're six feet apart. Back to you, Mr. McDonough. Appreciate those guys. If they look familiar, that's Nor and Evan who of course hosted all of our pep rallies this year and uh, um, they are some characters, and that weather report had a little bit more um, of an angle to it, um, which is which is okay. Um, but we'll see what it plays out with um, this week. Hopefully, not all of it is completely accurate. But we do appreciate them uh, being a part of that. They're just the first. Uh, we'll have some more guests uh, during this week and next week, but still time to send in those videos um, and to be a part of the morning announcements here. And if that continues to go well, we'll see about expanding it to the sports and or man on the street categories as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, with that, though, um, those start to bring our announcements to a close. Please remember to keep your social distance. That's physical, 
not necessarily connections as we talked about before. Make sure that you're staying connected. Continue to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. And then our quote of the day is from Muhammad Ali. And it says that impossible is just a big word thrown around by small men who find it easier to live in the world they've been given than to explore the power they have to change it. Impossible is not a fact. It's an opinion. Impossible is not a declaration. It's a dare. Impossible is potential. Impossible is temporary. Impossible is nothing. Muhammad Ali. So with that, we'll go ahead and bring our announcements to a close. Thank you and enjoy the day.